before we get into this video, which is going to be very interesting conversation around Nintendo fans uh, and what's happening in the industry, um, really across the board, I want to announce a couple things. One, we still have our giveaway for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles that you can enter by commenting down below, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon. But we're also starting our giveaway for September a little bit early um, just because we might have some uh, COVID-19 concerns in the house at the moment. So I want to I get this out there uh, in case I end up going down for the count. Uh, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite in September. Now, uh, we also have a general bigger giveaway if we hit 50,000 subscribers before November 1st of 2020 for a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a normal Nintendo Switch. But for the Switch Lite, there will be a Social Man link down in the very top of the description. I'll also put it in a pinned comment on this video as well. Uh, you can enter there. There's three different ways to enter. Um, you'll see what they are. Subscribing to the channel, um, following on Twitter, and then joining our Discord server. Uh, so the reason I'm kind of promoting the Twitter and the Discord server is just to give you guys other ways to uh, discover our videos that aren't reliant on YouTube's notification system. Anyways, um, be sure to enter, and uh, good luck. Let's get into the video. And today we are talking about why it's okay, or, or not really okay, but why Nintendo fans are frustrated with Nintendo. Now, obviously, we can talk about the lack of games and all that, because that's at the core of the frustration is the lack of game announcements more so than releases. We've had quite a number of actual releases. But Gamescom is going on at the time of recording this. Uh, we had the Summer Game Fest a little bit earlier uh, this summer. We had uh, a lot of different events happening. We've had the PlayStation and uh, Xbox go back and forth in, in revealing things over the year for their, their next-gen systems. I think it's really an Xbox, I think, is the next company that has to kind of go. But the thing is, all these companies, whether it's Microsoft and Sony, whether it's Ubisoft or Activision or Take-Two or whatever, re regardless of what publisher we're talking about out there, they're all revealing games and content. And Nintendo is sitting back being all, hey, here's Pikmin 3 Deluxe. That's it. All these other companies are talking about a whole bunch of games at once. And Nintendo is just saying, here's a partner showcase talking about third-party offerings, um, none of which are really major beyond Shin Megami Tensei V. The rest are kind of smaller studio indie-style games. Uh, so who cares? You know, that's what some people have been kind of throwing out. Like, we, we haven't seen Doom Eternal. That's supposed to be coming. Um, we didn't see an advertisement for NBA 2K21, which releases in a week. So it, it's been an extremely frustrating thing um, to be a Nintendo fan and watch all these other companies in the middle of this pandemic continue to announce games. Even Ubisoft had an Ubisoft Forward. They have another Ubisoft Forward coming up. They're announcing games, and they have all that controversy of um, the internal scandals that were happening, and they're still announcing content. And here's Nintendo, the top of the mountain, top-selling platform. Animal Crossing New Horizons might be past 40 million sales at this point. Who knows? They are crushing it this year, but they're not giving us anything. Now, I understand this can be fixed in the blink of an eye. Nintendo could drop a general direct any day they want. They could drop it on a weekend, for all we know. Who? I, this is Nintendo. Predicting what they're going to do is so difficult. Even leakers that get, like, information, sometimes it's fake. It's, it's just there isn't a lot to go on for Nintendo fans. A lot of faith, because these companies have been announcing things all summer long, and it seems... If there was E3 like normal, Nintendo would have already announced things as well, but there wasn't. So Nintendo kind of packed it in and said, hey, see us in 2021. And to be fair to them, 2021 is likely to be extremely packed. Um, I'm talking, you know, a, a probably a big game every month. But I, I do worry that um, Nintendo's kind of resting on their success right now. They are the number one selling platform in pretty much every major country that, that, that counts week over week, month over month. Um, they have the best selling games in a lot of these countries as well. Japan, especially, I think there's all nine of the top 10 for last week. Animal Crossing is killing it. We all know about all that. But Nintendo is sitting there at the peak of Switch sales and not giving us anything, not even a bone, even if... They don't know when the games are coming, right? Like, we saw Breath of the Wild 2 last year. Would it kill them to throw out another trailer for Breath of the Wild 2? Would it kill them? Like, even if the game's not coming out for two years. Like, something. Like, whatever they have in the work, because they obviously have games in the work. They own a bunch of game-making studios. 
why can't we just see something, anything, even if nothing is coming the rest of this year but Pikmin 3 Deluxe? And I think that's what's really infuriating and really frustrating is Nintendo's at the top of the mountain and letting everybody else just take control of the news. And Nintendo's just sitting on the wayside twiddling their thumbs being like, boop, 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 we're the number one richest company in Japan. We have the most money in the bank at $8.2 billion and blah, blah, blah. We are awesome. And they are awesome. And they are the richest company in Japan. They have more money in the bank than any company in, throughout their entire home country. It's insane. Yet, at the consumer level, we're left here twiddling our thumbs, wondering what the hell is going on. We know Bradley Default 2 is coming too, right? Like that's, I guess, a Nintendo published game, even though it's made by Square. But where are the Nintendo made games? Pikmin 3 Deluxe. You know, we got Tokyo Mirage Sessions earlier this year, another port. You know, we got Mystery Dungeon, a remake. But like, where's the new games? Animal Crossing New Horizons. That jump rope game, the uh, 51 Clubhouse game, uh, and then we got, obviously, Paper Mario. And that's not a bad first half lineup, but where's the second half lineup? Right now, it's Pikmin 3 Deluxe in October. Nothing this month. Nothing next month. Nothing as far as we're aware in November. Now, obviously, we have the rumors of the 35th anniversary games, but right now, they're just rumors. And a lot of the leakers said they were going to happen. We we're going to find out about it this past week, and we didn't. So are those games even real? Is Nintendo putting out fake information? It's frustrating to be a Nintendo fan in this pandemic COVID world that we're living in and have our favorite company who is at the top of the mountain of everything and have them not give us any information not hype us for anything that we can look forward to at some point in the future. That's, I think, what's frustrating, is watching everybody else line up and review games. We're at Gamescom. Nintendo's traditionally at Gamescom, showing off games that they showed off at E3. Instead, here we are. Gamescom is here. Nintendo, no show. Sure, there are some games coming to Switch announced at Gamescom, all from third parties and indie devs. Where's Nintendo? Why is Nintendo no-showing the whole industry right now? Now, traditionally, you could say, oh, because Nintendo's doing their own thing. They're going to Nintendo direct it. They, don't, they need to participate. They can do directs and do directs. Except we haven't had a normal Nintendo direct in almost one year. We haven't even had one at all in 2020 beyond a mini that happened back in spring. And that's not even a normal direct. But like, by the showcase standards, that feels like a normal direct. And they announced Paper Mario on Twitter. They announced um, Pikmin 3 Deluxe on Twitter. And if they're going to go the social media route of revealing games or talking about games, then reveal a bunch of games on social media. Why are we doing this one game at a time? New game comes out. Cool, let's reveal the next game. So, like, are we not going to get anything revealed until Pikmin 3 Deluxe comes out? And then you'll give us something else on Twitter? This is what's frustrating as Nintendo fans is the rest of the industry is giving us game after game after game after game after game after game after game and just announcing things like crazy. And Nintendo's just sitting there. Well, we're the richest in Japan. We're at the top of the sales charts. We don't need to do anything. And for sales purposes, them talking about stuff isn't going to increase sales right now. They're already at the top. But it can keep people feeling good about their purchase of Switch, knowing that there's all these games coming down the pipeline. When people bought a Switch on March 3rd, 2017, a lot of people bought it for Breath of the Wild, but they felt good about that purchase, even though they could get it on Wii U, if you happen to own one, because Mario Odyssey was coming. Splatoon 2 was coming. There were games we knew, big games coming down the pipeline. We knew about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We knew about big games coming down the pipeline the rest of 2017 before Switch came out. But here we are, like, in, at the end of August of 2020, and we know about another Wii U port coming, and that's it. That's it from Nintendo. It's frustrating. It's extremely frustrating. Um, and I'm not sure what we as fans can really do about it, except just keep being patient. We can keep throwing demands and keep telling, you know, I made a video earlier about how, oh, it's okay to be entitled as Nintendo fans right now. We should demand answers. But if I'm being honest, 
It's what the rest of the industry is doing that's making it so frustrating. The rest of the industry is just hitting us over the head with what they got, whether it's this year, next year. The, heck, we just heard about freaking the new Dragon Age that isn't going to be coming out for like two or three years. It is that early in development. And we just heard about that. But we can't hear about anything from Nintendo that matters. Man. Anyways, be sure to enter our giveaway down in the description. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.